hate to leave early. I have scheduling snacks. My character shall remain a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> Which fits, actually. <laughs> 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 And then I have a sort of fancy version who, and that's not my real persona, like I wasn't a millionaire growing up, um, but I have learned to sort of masquerade in their, you know, sort of great Gatsby-esque world of fancy clothes and parties and things to get access to my villains and enemies, which are kind of like the gangsters or like the corrupt mayor or sort of like the corrupt rich people navigations in a city. Um, and that character's name is Anna Margaret Voler, and mm. Voler means to fly in Latin. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, oh. um, and then my actual, like, sort of, like, sort of street name is Annie, uh, and but nobody really knows me as that except for my close confidants. Uh, and I kind of imagine having um, like a scrappy sort of like best friend type who's kind of like scientist-y inventor who helps me create things and sometimes like joins in on fighting crimes but isn't so suave at navigating the like fanciful rich people world. Um, and then I also have like an old guy uh, who probably played a role in my life growing up uh, who like saves things from dumpsters for me that you like turn into stuff and that kind of thing. Uh, but I also have Hakabilis who Jordan has grown to love, um, <laughs> resistantly at first, um, who is my uh, pet hawk, um, and his name is Hakamides, and he knows lots of commands and can do lots of things. Uh, he's a good lookout, he flies in and distracts people, might have uh, safe cracking abilities, but we probably don't. <laughs> 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 What's that, three left Hakamides? Yeah, so there's that. Um, and let's see what else. Okay, so I have a, a slingshot, but that's like flat packed, and so it can fit under like elegant lady gloves. Mm -hmm. And so it's like you can like pull oh. on the lady gloves and then you fire like so, basically. Oh, nice. um, and the kind of unique part of that is that there's a it shoots sort of scientifically created pellets that do a variety of things that I hope you guys will invent and discover. You know, we were just joking about a bunch of them, like, you know, shoot a pellet to right here and it's like gas just for that person and they knock out, but there's no traces of it. And how did that happen? You know, to other people coming by. Or it's like a persuasion, like, love pellet and then the person's like totally susceptible to her lady wiles or like what, you know, whatever it is. Um, it's a shock pellet, it's a spontaneous combustion pellet, it's a what, you know, like whatever you guys can create for that. I think there's a lot of fun you know, sort of ability to open that up. Um, I see myself in a big city. Um, I see myself kind of as a, um, like somehow grew up as maybe a street kid and like maybe my parents were killed by the gangster mobsters or something and that's why I'm motivated to sort of protect the, you know, oppressed and, you know, kind of Robin Hood style, sort of. Um, love interest, maybe. Uh, I could see her, sort of faking a romance with like a big rich guy to get access to um, the world that he offers. Like I see lots of, um, that the reason that she has that sort of like personality of like, oh yes, I'm for masquerading in this word world is so that she's getting this information. She's a lady, so the men are like, oh, whatever, it's just her. So they're like, here's the deal, you know, and they don't even like give her any credit for being a threat. Um, I, when I imagine in my head, I imagine a movie. And so I imagine like, you know, she's going underground to like their like bank vault, whatever, and like takes out all these people and gets the whatever, and there's a party going on upstairs that was gonna be a cover for like this big, big thing, and then she just like walks out with it, because they're like, oh, good evening, you know? And she's like, ah, oh, and to you too, gentlemen. You know, and just like has no problem doing that, she's a lady. Um, Please gentlemen, help you out. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 I'm fine, thank you. Uh, I think that's it. Am I missing anything from I don't what we think so. Um, yeah, so since, uh, uh, like the abandoned warehouse layer. Uh, yeah, I got like in a, I, I probably kind of live in a like place that was once abandoned but has now been turned into a mean. It like doubles as like sciency area layer. Um, it's probably also where my two sort of confidants live. Um, in that sort of you know sort of 
self-created um, space, basically. Um, yeah, that's it. Code? Sweet. Code? Do you have a code? Uh, fight for the oppressed, sort of, I guess. Makes um, sense. You know, steal from the rich, <laughs> to the poor. You know, um, you know, I don't know. I didn't really think about it from that context, so I don't have a, sort of a summary way to wrap that up nicely. Does she have a, like a secret identity? Like, I mean, you spoke of it earlier, and there's like three different layers, but like, yeah, so when she goes down into the bank vault, does she like put on a mask and then yeah. take it off? Yeah, so I haven't figured out. So that is, yeah, like the peregrine will be some sort of mask something. I don't know yet kind of what that mask that is. is. <laughs> um, but then also her calling card is that she has one pellet that when she splats it, it leaves a silhouette of a falcon. Yeah, and but she will be some kind of mask something. I'm still figuring out clothing wise, like is there a way to have, you know, just for our show purposes, um, some sort of outer lady clothes that could easily be, yeah. you know, dismissed to put on more sort of action wear and then re-adorning the lady clothes and I don't really know. Um, you can get a wrap around dress. Yeah, so there's definitely kind of possibilities for um, how that would work, but there's definitely it's a mass thing, so she's not. You always have to see your hair down and throw it up. Right, right. So there's sort of these three layers of a disguise. Um, I would assume that the men who encountered me would also assume that I was a man, so I assume that there'd be some, um, you know, degree of disguise in that. I don't know what that is yet. So did you say I, I don't know why when you were describing me about your parents being killed? I was sort of having that Batman thought. Uh, are you wealthy inherently? No. No, you're just pretending to yeah, be. Yeah, masquerading okay. in I that way. And, and I don't really know how I like got that initial access. Like I don't really know. I, I sort of feel it like it was through con, basically, like con okay. stuff. Yeah, there are characters yeah. in Dickens like that. Yeah, yeah they just kind of have conned their way into it. You know, she okay. she gets she acquires the pretty dress and shows up like she's supposed to be on the thing with the invitation yeah. and like just acts like, crasher. of course yeah. I'm supposed to be here. And then, you know, people are like, oh, did you know that that's the whatever? And she tells stories strategically to get people to think that she's this person, you know? So she's sort of like woven and created that. Um, Master of the Skies. Yeah. It sounds a lot like uh, the way they played Cat Woman in the last act. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Right, right. Cast off. It was just like, here I am, and this is what, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of. What kind of villains did she fight? Like mob bosses or like corrupt mayors, um, corrupt sort of like rich people rings, you know, so people who are maybe taking advantage of some lower population um, by way of, you know, being dicks or exploiting their power or their legal maneuvering or something like that yeah. um, based on kind of their rich people standings. I was thinking um, of Kaken, you know, like they go down and like they're selling the women downstairs. Not that we get that yeah. hardcore, I'm just saying like, <laughs> yeah. but like it's like, la, 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 spoilers. Oh, sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. But yeah, but like, yeah, like doing, but even that would be fine. There was a you party know? upstairs yeah. and downstairs sketchy business. Yeah. Something, would, something like that would be fine. You know, yeah. some kind of like ring of selling people, you know, whatever. Yeah. I mean, it's, I think that any, anything that could be done by Corrupt rich people is what I'm. Is so anything. Right, which is pretty much anything. So yeah, there's a. I think there's um, a when, uh, when, if ever, will she kill? Will she what? Kill. kill? Mm -hmm. I don't know, because um, I think she does also, you know, do some actual like fighting, fighting. Um, but I think more often it's resourceful, like yeah. pelting and then working with whatever that creates. Also. Um, and using Pachamides to claw faces on those smart <laughs> evil bad guys is another thing that happens. Um, so that it like becomes a universal mark for like this guy's like a tainted soul. So, you know, you've got the like Pachamides Falcon star. He bears um, the mark of the peregrine. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, see, that's good. <laughs> yeah. um, when will she kill? I don't know. Um, it's okay if you don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. I really don't know. I think to protect maybe the most vulnerable. You know, Tuesdays, maybe. Wednesdays, maybe. Yeah, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Saturdays. Yeah. Saturdays. 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 I'm not really sure. Uh, the even days of the month. I don't know. We can pencil it in right now. Have you ever seen your peregrines be just imaginary or one of us? Pachamides. Pachamides. Uh, spa probably space birds. Probably space birds. Yeah, I don't want to have. Yeah. Space birds. Yeah, I think. 
I think if we're avoiding the campiness, uh, having uh, an improviser play a bird on stage might be a little too wacky. We can just train a hawk. For yeah. Uh, no, helper chip is fine. But there can be a lot of sound effects courtesy of tech, you know, or like the like, you know, and whatnot. Um, yeah. Oh, I love that. Um, but yeah, probably a space bird, but... And then, you know, I think to make that real, people will just have to reference that as a reality. You know, there'll be the, the claw marks, and there'll be the peregrines flat on the ground, and there'll be the, the falcon feather or whatever. You know what I mean? And, like, if yeah. people reference that as real, it's not going to look like so I'm just an idiot. Like <laughs> yeah. It's like, why are you moving your arm up and down? That's dumb. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yes, yeah. be good improvisers on stage. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's an that. important note I need to give you guys. Uh, oh, we have to be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. sorry. Oh, uh, there's been a mistake. <laughs> back up, yeah. back up. Yeah, you should get out of here. Hockmeadies <laughs> also has like a leather bird backpack. Uh, oh, yeah. It's not like a backpack. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that's going to be a backup tale. Hockmeadies is now enrolled in high school. <laughs> and, uh, but he just doesn't get along with the cool kids. <laughs> Things and carry backup pellets, and he's a good lookout. Um, yeah, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Peregrine.